I think the more that I'm hearing and the more that I'm learning is that my beloved father might actually be my enemy. Um, he's my hero and he's my helper, but he might also be holding me back. Um, by that I mean he really doesn't want me to move, and he doesn't want me to move that far away. But um, often I'd only see him once every couple weeks anyways, and that was only for a few minutes. So I think that he just wants to stop me from getting this house um, or control which house I get and pick something else that um, doesn't suit my needs as well. Or so I can look like I need to rely on him because I'm not able to make good decisions for myself. Um, if it was a place from legitimate caring, then he surely would have mentioned some of the positives or the benefits of the house that I found. How it's within my budget, how it has nice sidewalks where I can walk the dogs, how it has nice wood floors, um, it has a lot of room, it has a big yard for the dogs, um, a very tall a privacy fence, probably about six foot. Um, it's got three bedrooms and an antique uh, clawfoot tub. Um, it has a shower downstairs, it has washer and dryer hookups downstairs. Um, it does have some cosmetic wear. It has some really nice brickwork on the front and a nice covered um, porch. Yes, it does look shabby, but it's a great usable space. It's very functional. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, stores nearby that could even be walked to or biked to. Um, the bills shouldn't be too much, should be affordable. Um, yes, there's broken windows. Um, I'll probably put plastic over them for a while. Um, you know, like those plastic window films. I'll probably put one of those on each side. Um, there's some cracks um, and damages in part of the the um, paint on the wolf, on the ceiling. Um, it doesn't look like there's roof leaks or anything like that. Um, there are a couple of structural leaks, which could be um, probably fixed pretty easily with putty or um, tar, grout, or something like that. <laughs> but it's not a problem with the shingles. Um, it has a lot of positives. It has a really nice chandelier at the top. Um, it's got a couple of fans downstairs. It does not come with any appliances. And actually the listing said that it didn't have a basement at all, but it did have a small partial basement, which was good because the water heater is down there. And if I got a water filter, there's a place for that to go without eating up my living space. So he mentioned none of the positives. Oh, and also it has a really big two-car garage. It's like bigger than a normal two-car garage. And uh, it's got an electric door opener too. So it has a lot of, a lot of positives. And he mentioned none of the positives, only the negatives, how it'll cost a lot to, it'll cost a lot to heat it, well possibly, but I plan on keeping the heat very low. Um, yes, it does have broken windows, and there was an area on the back where the siding needed to replace, just a, a foot or two, wasn't very much. Um, so it's not perfect, and I planned on um, spending maybe $20,000 on repairs, and it still would be under budget. And then I'd still have money left over to um, reinforce the fence and put up a shed. So it is affordable. Um, there are no appliances, but that kind of means I can pick out the appliances that I do want, and the price is low enough um, because I really do want I really do want a washer and dryer that are a little older and more powerful than the new ones that don't um, allow you to use very much energy. Um, the green movement restrictions have made a lot of appliances pretty obsolete and non-functional, especially washers and dryers. The clothes don't come out clean. You have to use them two or three times to get the clothing at a comparable level as it used to be. So I do want like a retro vintage washer and dryer. Um, fridge doesn't matter too much, but new appliances break very quickly and old ones seem to last for a hundred years, at least 50. Um, stoves. The new stoves, they cover in like this plastic coating which seems to like melt and discolor um, within a few years and if your appliance is for some reason still working, it'll be so ugly that you'll want to replace it anyways. So there is planned obsolescence in most of the new appliances. 
so for this reason I would try to get vintage or at least maybe 20 years old. I don't necessarily want a 50 year old item. But just before they really started cheapening things up to where they break within 10 years. And um, so, uh, I definitely don't want the plastic coated appliances. Um, those are no good at all, especially on an oven when the grease from the cooking oils comes up. So, you know, that's not a bad thing. So my father doesn't mention a single positive about this house. Even though when he walked in, he seemed kind of surprised and he is, it appeared as though he liked the house. But he kept trying to convince me not to get it and look at other houses and even spend way beyond my budget. <laughs> even spend 125 when I don't even know that I'll have that much money altogether. And that would be just for the house, not for the fence, not for a shed. And the, and the yard isn't as good and there's not um, a good place to walk the dogs. Um, really the only positive is it would be, it would be uh, an hour closer to where I used to live. But no one there wants to see me anyways. So I don't believe that dad's going to be heartbroken because he doesn't really visit me or anything. Like he'll drop something off and he's like, I gotta go. And then he just drives off and doesn't even want to talk. Or if I try to talk to him, he gets annoyed. So I think that, uh, I think that he does love me. But I think that uh, he's probably influenced heavily by the enemy. The enemy has got to him um, through his lukewarmness. Um, he has no desire to read the Bible, and he really doesn't want to pray. Um, he won't pray for protection over the children or anything like that. Though he is a really um, compassionate and caring person, he's become more grumpy, and um, like he'll interrupt me. He's always rude. Like if I'm talking to him, the phone rings, he picks it up right away. He doesn't even say, well, hold on a minute. Um, if I'm talking to him, he'll just interrupt me in the middle of talking, and. Uh, like he threatens to hang up on me, so I don't think I'm missing much if I move two hours away. Um, but I do love my father still. But I do think the enemy is trying very hard to get to me, and they will use everyone I know to do so. So, And also, my dad did have a kidney transplant, and I think that his personality has changed after that.